Hi Leo, welcome to your mid to late September reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Leo, cherry on top. Well, it feels to me like you've almost reached a goal. You've almost attained it. Now, you may even feel like you've got a long way to go, but I feel like it's closer than you think. Now, you've been working really, really hard and for a really long period of time. For a long time, Leo, you've felt like you've been simply going about your day, doing what you need to do. Now, that's been necessary. You've been patient. You've been persistent. And I feel that you've come farther than you think. And it seems like there's something that you've been wanting to manifest. It's closer than expected. Not quite there, but almost. Now, the overall energy around this reading, we have day and night. So this is like a situation here, which is like day and night. It's going to seem like coming from a darker period into a lighter period. There's an energy around this though of a struggle and I get it as a struggle to make a choice but it, it's kind of like a, well I'm seeing it as very much you having all of the answers in your hands. I feel like you're being intuitively guided in the right direction. And it's almost like, why would you be clinging to this darker energy? But I, I feel like you, you, you feel like it's not, you're not quite ready or something like that, Leo. But you are ready. You are ready to step out into this light here and claim what is yours. Now, guilt. Is it you that has guilt? Maybe forgetting all that you've wanted? Goodness. Let's see, Leo. Could be you, could be someone around you, or it could even be a Leo if you're uh, cross-watching for Leo. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Six of Cups. Yeah. It feels like a really nice energy between two people. I feel like you've been busy manifesting a soulmate relationship. Leo, I do. But yet there's this, uh, this feeling around this of, am I ready? Am I ready? You've been going backwards and forwards. It feels like you've been manifesting this for a really long time and then once it's there, you may even be feel, feeling like you uh, need to hold back in some way. But really, what's the, what's the hold up? What's the restriction? Yeah, let's see. One more, the moon energy. Yeah, I feel like you've been coming through this very confusing time uh, a darker time in your life. Let's start with the signifier for you, uh, Leo. Where you currently stand, where you hope to stand with this in the future, how you're viewing the other person, how you've perceived them in the past, your doubts and fears about this, what's happening in your, in your environment, and the potential outcome. Now, for the person that you're focused on, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Wands. Leo could be a uh, Sagittarius energy. I've got two knights here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Okay, so there is action being taken. Ace of Cups. It is in relation to a love, I do feel. Again, the Six of Cups. Very strong uh, past life energy, a soulmate possibly even twin flame but let's have a look and see signifier for the person that you're dealing with where they currently stand where they hope to stand with this in the future how they're viewing you Leo how they've perceived you in the past their doubts and fears about this the potential outcome and oh sorry the environment and then the potential outcome getting ahead of myself there guys all right, so going from night to day, it feels very much like a transition, something that feels like a lack into a place of abundance. It, it's kind of like uh, getting all you ever wanted, but feeling guilty about it. Leo, what on earth? The Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles, well, this is abundance. This is, uh, this is abundance from hard work, though. 
So I do feel that there is an energy, whether this is you, Leo, or the other side, either side can resonate. So take whichever side resonates the most as your message. But I get a very strong self-sustaining energy around this, a hard worker, a lot of efforts being put in. And as a result, I feel that, Leo, you, uh, you're receiving some kind of benefit for that, a payoff. But it's from your hard work. So you're sitting quite comfortably here and I get you you're ready for takeoff, like you're ready for even more success. The person that you're uh, dealing with here though is the King of Swords in reverse. So this is very much a, a person who is, uh, I feel a sense of ruthlessness around that person but let's see where that goes where you currently stand you've got the five of cups so it does seem like you're emotionally speaking grieving the end of a relationship or the loss of someone still haunted by memories of the past focused on something from the past now this person the magician in reverse, goodness, with the king of swords in reverse. So this seems to be somebody coming in here, Leo. They have some kind of uh, agenda, an, an ulterior motive. I don't feel that they're telling you the truth. There's some trickery around this. Okay. Well, you hope to stand with this in the future, the page of wands in reverse. You're hoping to uh, delay. I get delay. Mm. you may not be ready there after this I mean the ace of wands while wow, they're coming in hot and heavy here Leo really wanting to start something with you very fast moving uh, it, it, it kind of feels like this person's doing a fast turnaround I feel it's the same person this person may have been reluctant around you before they may have been holding off withdrawing but now there is this sudden kind of turnaround where now they feel like okay well oh, quick i've got to go and get my leo but now i feel that you're i'm wondering if there's something here uh, when we talk about guilt It seems as if there's still some guilt here, being haunted around the past and, and wanting to hold on. Uh, not to the past, but just really like giving it some, giving it time before starting something brand new. Okay, now how are you viewing them? The Nine of Cups. How are they viewing you, the star, in reverse? Okay. You know what, it seems like this person does bring you a sense of happiness. There is a, there is contentment around this individual. But for some reason I feel like it's, there's something here lurking beneath the surface of that. So it appears to be something, but yet it's not. Leo, what on earth? Now how they're, they're viewing you here, we've got the star in reverse. Yeah, that's not so great. It does seem like there is... some disappointment around this. I'm picking that up as disappointment. Let's see, I'll continue on and I'll come back to that star in reverse. But how you've perceived them in the past, Leo, we've got the nine of swords in the reverse so they, they uh, I feel that you know that they've been very stressed and not sleeping well okay all right okay I get this now Leo it, it seems like this is somebody who was playing some kind of games they weren't revealing all the cards on, the, on their table. They were keeping things close to their chest. They took some kind of action here. 
that was uh, like covert. I, I feel like they had some kind of ulterior motive. They weren't telling you the truth about it. And I think that there's this person had some kind of shame or guilt. But they are wanting to come in here and have this new beginning with you, uh, Leo. They are. This person did bring you contentment. I feel that they still have the ability to do so, but there's this need to come clean. I feel that they need to uh, come clean here, confess something. It's something that caused you pain. There may have been an indiscretion or maybe this person, it, it was some kind of action that they took. For some of them, they went out seeking pleasure elsewhere, I'm getting from spirit, okay. Let's see how they've perceived you in the past. The King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they were emotionally unavailable in the past. There was a lack of emotional availability. I feel that there may have been something here that this person was doing. Uh, they weren't in touch with their emotions. There's a detachment. I mean, look at these two kings here. Hmm. Yeah, I'd be a little bit careful about this one. It, it seems like this person is trying to show a side of themselves that uh, that you feel isn't reality. Yeah, your doubts and fears are three of pentacles in reverse. You you really doubt that this can be a uh, a connection. You really doubt that this can be something that you can commit to a partnership. Their doubts and fears, the Four of Pentacles, yeah, they're still emotionally withdrawn. There seems to be something here where this person feels guilty for not being emotionally available. Mm. They seem to be lying to themselves. Okay. There's a lot of disappointment around this person. It, it's kind of like they, they want to be, they want to be the type of person that can be open to emotions, open, opening up to love, but something's blocking them. There's a lack. It, it seems like the, there's a sense around you here of knowing this about this person. I feel like you may have turned your back to this individual because it, they were being too superficial, like not revealing themselves, not being open. They're starting to lose hope. And so now I feel they want to begin again. They want this new beginning with you. And they want to show a different side of themselves. But they also fear doing that as well. They fear opening up emotionally. Yeah, this person had, uh, they felt ashamed or guilty because they couldn't give you what you wanted, uh, Leo, which was uh, an emotional con connection. Uh, it may have been something here where there was, uh, something made you happy. You had some kind of connection with this person. But the cherry on top of the Sunday would be the emotional connection, right? That would make it complete. That would make this dessert complete, cherry on top. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, here it is. Uh, this is the environment. It, it's the Emperor card. It's in the reverse. So it's this person. They're very disconnected from the, the masculine right now. They are masculine. I feel that this is the masculine. Could be twin flame, but they are disconnected from the masculine. There's something here that they're doing that is, that is toxic. Mm. I'm getting an abuse of power. I'm getting withholding. And I'm also getting a, an extreme lack of confidence. And covering up all of those things with pursuit of pleasure. Now that could be drinking, it could be eating, it could be sex, it could be a number of things. And then closing off, they close off and block. 
Now their external environment is the nine of wands. Well, this is that energy of you being almost there, right? There's a feeling here of almost getting to that place where you have what you want. You've put the effort in, you've put the work in, you're almost complete. Yeah. Mm. The outcome. Two of Swords in Reverse for you and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so you are this person's wish fulfillment. They do want to be with you, Leo. The problem is they feel terribly guilty for not being able to be that person that you want them to be emotionally available. I feel that you've hung in there, you've persevered with this, but now you're doubting whether or not this can be a true commitment. You're putting it on hold or you're you're putting it on pause here while you have a think about this. I do feel that you are going to make a choice, but the choice may not be based on the truth because I feel like there's, they may be coming into you saying, look, I've changed, but I don't feel that they actually have. I don't feel that they've, they've actually gone through the change that they need to, to do here. The, the time is not, there's not enough time in between when you've started to disconnect from this connection and when they've come rushing back in here trying to uh, trying to keep you in the in this connection yeah so you're making a decision but it's not based on it's not based on the truth it's it's the truth as they're saying it to you they're saying it's the truth but it's not really i, I feel that they really want to be with you, Leo, but they are very, very frightened of opening up on an emotional basis, but they feel very guilty at the same time because they know you deserve that and they actually do want this new beginning with you. I feel that the connection between you is, is very... Uh, I feel at the present time it's mainly sexual, Leo, but it's like that, that last thing that's missing is the emotional component and that would be the cherry on top. I feel that the person does want to give it to you, Leo. They do. So let's see where this goes in the extended. I hope that you join me. Before we go to the extended, guys, let's get a uh, blessing of the fairies card. If this is your story, please do join me in the extended. The link is down below and that is uh, in the descriptions box. It'll be about another 30 minute reading and it'll be in depth. So please do join me if that is if this is your story. If you'd prefer a personal reading, the email is on your screen there, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my new channel memberships. I'm offering early access to the videos. So if you'd like to find out more, you can click on the join button or look in the box below. Leo, let's take a look. message for Leo what does Leo need to hear message for Leo what does Leo need to hear either side of course uh, can resonate a blessing of the butterfly queen okay well that does speak of a transformation guys yeah okay butterfly queen let's take a look with that one <coughs> Graceful change and transfiguration. Transformation and change. Breaking through obstacles. Yeah, you're almost, you almost, I feel like you're almost there. You're almost at this place. Not quite though, not quite. You know, I think that you're hesitant. I get a hesitancy around you. But I do feel that there is change afoot. And it's, it feels like it, this person is changing like day and night. It seems like uh, it seems like there is an energy around this of them completely changing how they interact or how they conduct themselves in this relationship. And it's for the better, absolutely. Really nice energy. So let's see where this goes in the extended reading. I'll be interested to find out and the link again is below in the descriptions box if you prefer a personal reading gypsyinsights at gmail.com please like share and subscribe 
Don't forget to check out my new channel memberships. I'm offering early access to the videos, so to find out more, you can click on the join button or look in the box below for the link. Yeah, Leo, wow, you know, not bad, not bad. I, I get that this is a situation that you may have even uh, not exactly given up on, but I feel it's caused you some anxiety, some worry, you, you wondered whether or not this was going to go somewhere. The, the, this person may even have concerned you with uh, some toxic behaviours that they were doing, but I feel like uh, there is change afoot. So let's see where this goes guys. Again, we'll see in part two. I hope to uh, see you there. If not, then I wish you all the very best, Leo. Please take care. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys and bye for now.